The Historical Society of Baltimore County is located in the historic Alms House building in Cockeysville. Beyond the lectures, the tours, and special events, the Society is the steward of a fascinating archive of Baltimore County history. Their executive director, Kathleen Barry, is here to tell us more. Welcome to SMARTS. Thank you very much. And welcome to your job. It's, you're relatively new in the position, I understand. I am. Thank and you. And are you enjoying it? Yes, I am. Okay, well, <laughs> good. Um, let's talk a little bit about the archive. If uh, I were interested in finding out more about it, can you kind of give me a brief description? Sure. Well, um, there's kind of four general areas I'd like to highlight quickly. The, um, one of the areas people are very interested in, of course, is genealogy. So they want to come to us to, to find out their family history. And we have our surname files. We have cemetery transcription files. We have a variety of old directories and places you can find listings of uh, wow. older residents, or people from the past, of course. And uh, we have a lot of published and unpublished family histories that people have already done that people can come in and consult. And uh, we have our volunteers, so I should say, are, are quite knowledgeable. They're a great resource, staff. Oh, correct. they're terrific, yeah. yes. And if yeah. we, they can help you find uh, what you're looking for, whether you're an advanced researcher or a beginner. And if we don't have it, they'll probably find out where it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's one part of the archive. Yes. Uh, another area is historic properties. People are very interested yes. in finding out about old buildings around the county. And uh, for that, we have a wonderful photo photograph collection with, uh, gosh, eight to 9,000 items, many of which record uh, historic properties around the county, some of which no longer exist. Oh, wow. So that's a great resource. We have about 500 maps and atlases to locate things. Now, I just want to ask you quickly, is this something you have to come to the Alms House to, to, to the, on site, or is this something you can access online as well? Generally, you need to come to us okay. and, and use our reading room, and we'll okay. bring things out for you. Terrific. Okay. Yes. Uh, and we also have, uh, our volunteers can help people negotiate online databases for historical properties and uh, we have subject files too on many properties, which might just be a few news clippings or uh, in some cases we have more substantial collections. Just this week somebody gave us a couple boxes of material on the building of an Art Deco mansion in uh, Mays Chapel in 1939. Really? So I didn't that's even quite know that such a thing existed. Yes, a renowned architect and so we have documents about the building of it and then the renovation oh, of it. Interesting. So, Which brings on. up a subject. I guess you're always interested in people bringing, if they think they have some interesting information that you would be interested in, they should also bring it to your attention. Certainly. We're always interested in hearing about people who want to donate things. If they have anything to do with Baltimore County history, we're interested in hearing from you. Okay, great. Now, you've only been there since April, but I'm sure you've had a lot of time to look at the, the different collections. Do you have some favorites? Well, for objects, we have some pretty spectacular objects you in do. our museum collection, which uh, is okay. about 10,000 items, so we oh. have an awful lot, but uh, a real standout item for me is our um, Steve Square Grand Piano. And this is an interesting item for several reasons. The uh, square grand pianos are not, people have kind of forgotten about them, but they were oh, actually right. a predominant style of piano in the 19th century, the most popular style. They're not really square, they're rectangular actually. Yeah. But, um, and it was made by Charles M. Steef Company in Baltimore, which was a pretty important piano maker back oh, then. Sure. And people hear the Steef name and they'll probably think of silver. silver right. Same family, earlier business. They started the piano making business about 1840. Silver making didn't start. It was a grandson who started that business in the uh, 1890s. There you go. I've learned and, uh, that already from you. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So that's a, a great item. Uh, we also have um, some terrific textiles and quilts. And for oh. me, those are um, personal favorites. Yes. Uh, the quilt, we have wonderful quilts from the 19th century. And actually, our oldest quilt, I believe, is from about 1790. Oh, how wonderful. And the, you know, the hand stitching on that is still in wonderful okay. condition. So, so folks can come, uh, come to the society and take all these wonderful objects in. Quickly, in the two seconds we have left, if you want to look at some photos, can you access them? I know there, but also online or not? Um, they are available online. Uh, they're password protected, but if you're interested in looking at them, you should come uh, just get in touch with us. Our, our website is www.hsobc.org. Very and you good. Can email or call us. All right, Kathleen, thanks so much. Thank you. Well, delve into your family genealogy, learn more about your neighborhood's history, and explore the people and places of Baltimore County at the Historical Society of Baltimore County.